Hi Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm sorry the um, readings are late but I have no internet so I'm going on to another location to do the marathon marathon, tarot marathon um, and I'm taping this on Saturday the 17th of October and this will be for the 19th of October till the 25th Okay, so here we go, 19th to the 25th, and I hope you're all well. I do miss you because I haven't been live, because I haven't got internet. I've only got internet on my telephone, and that is running out. So, my excuses for that, and welcome to everybody that is new. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all, and remember to set the settings in the back of YouTube office and also in your mobile device okay your first card is the prince of wands and the prince of wands is the prince of fire this is um uh, the prince in this deck you've got two suits that are princes and two suits that are princesses so it's somebody young that is going to come and bring you news or you could be receiving news about action or passion. Woo, nice one. This could be also about a hobby or work, that you've got the job. And you could be meeting a Sagittarius and Aries uh, or a Leo. But the princess and the princess are usually Sagittarius. So there could be a Sagittarius giving you or sending you news. Then we have the Princess of Wands. So you've got a couple here. You might be coupling up. You might be getting an invitation to um, go out with the Prince or Princess of Wands. Like I said, the Princess um, in this deck, there are Princesses. Um, and in the Star Tarot, it's the Prince and Princesses. So um, just this is really confusing, perhaps it's because I'm using two different decks, but it shows you that the same card can come out that and that you can be coupled up with somebody. Um, it also shows that the tarot is not sexist or discrimination, the discriminative. Okay, so you will be getting news about passion, something that you're passionate about. This could be work, love or a hobby. On Wednesday you have the Two of Swords and that means that you might be too much in your head. You might feel tied up and you don't know which direction to go. So open up that mind of yours and open up your heart and solar plex. Take off that blindfold and throw away those swords that are crossing your chest. Open, perhaps you might have to open up to yourself. Open yourself up. That is what it's showing. Perhaps you are scared of uh, confronting your dark side or your fears, for example, that could be the dark side or your emotions come not being in balance with your heart or your mind. So try to get balanced by taking off the blindfold and throwing away the swords by opening your solar plex and your heart and your mind. And look, we've got the King of Cups here, and the King of Cups is Cancer. But don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. You might be going out with a Scorpio or a Cancer or a, a Pisces. They're very sensitive people. But because it's the King, uh, he has his emotions under control. And he's a caring, nurturing, loving passionate man. So perhaps you have closed off your heart towards this king um, or closed your heart off towards this king and or because there's perhaps too much passion going on. The word passion stands out here and love. So open that heart and then you will be able to receive the love you deserve. And so will they. Okay. On Friday, something is happening, a totally new start. Perhaps new communications as the sword, the Ace of Swords, stand for communications, wisdom and victory. 
there might be new knowledge gathered you might be starting a new study whoa if you are uh, if you are in competition or if you are in legalities as the st sword always stands for justice and clarity and honesty and truth you um, will have victory definitely a new beginning either in wisdom like I said a new course a new learning or a new workshop or a new hobby that you are learning about or new passion and there is a clarity about passion and love so you will have the answer on Friday or around the weekend then we have the seven of Pentacles you've been sowing seeds perhaps you've been sowing seeds and uh, to um, get somebody to be convinced that you fancy them and that you love them so what you sow you shall reap something is coming to fruition at the end of the week because you've got the victory card your hard work is going to pay off okay perhaps you've been nurturing your seeds like I said this could be a hobby this could be work this could be love or passion okay you've also got the king of swords so perhaps you might have had an arbitrator or a mediator communicating for you uh, so that you can get that new communication going and the clarity sometimes it's not very easy to break the ice so perhaps you had an arbitrator or an advisor to break the ice this could be within a relationship or this could be with a firm that you want to work at and you did go for an interview but something was not clear to you and somebody said well I can mediate for you this could be like um, uh, a career officer uh, at the municipality they spoke to the firm and they were your mediator and now it's final and you've got victory but the king of swords is a Gemini okay but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius there will be happy reunions so you might be celebrating at the weekend that you've got this job or this this project because you do have uh, the king of swords which also means legal advisor he knows the knowledge of the law the letter of the law so he can be an advocate an arbitrator a mediator associator this could also be a surgeon anybody that cuts or that deals with officiality so you might have bought that house and you are celebrating with family and friends you might be finding out that the family is expending that could like I said this could be a surgeon this could be a gynecologist so perhaps you might even um, finally find out you're pregnant and expanding the family Wow and if I remember correctly it can it can be a late Gemini because if you go pregnant in the end of September you will be giving birth in June see how these cards add up beautiful now perhaps you might have started legal processions but I think it will be coming to an end as this is a 10 and you have the victory card and where there is an ending there is a new beginning and so it is clarified at the end of the week or pro most probably at the weekend the overall energy is you've got the knight of wands that means moving home starting something new action action when you get him and you receive this news you have to take direct action otherwise it will pass you by okay <coughs> like I said legalities you might be signing for a house because you're expending the family the, the Knight of Wands means moving home receiving news um, meeting either an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius there is rebirth like I said if you haven't been communicating with somebody you might have got a caring um, 
a mediator or arbitrator or a um, uh, official arbitrator like a municipal um, marriage guidance counsellor or a lawyer or uh, a social worker and th there is new communication so there is a new beginning since you've got the card of judgment or a reconciliation as it is also a rebirth card a second chance now we have the tea leaf readings here and the first one is dark man dealings or a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair the second card we have is the well so you can do a wish family wishes coming true there you go confirmation that you might be becoming a mother or a father or a grandparent or an aunt then you have the fan romance celebration like I said if you are uh, getting divorced or if you are con were considering getting divorced you got legal advice or marriage guidance counselor being the arbitrator new communication so there could be a reconciliation boom family romance celebration and party boom reuniting then we have the programming programming the Archangel Michael card expect something wonderful Archangel Michael asks that each new day is started by setting the intent of a, expecting something wonderful and exciting and this is an action card as it is the red card and the sword this sword is presented symbolically to you by Archangel Michael as a call for definite action so take it and you've got the sword here as well Archangel Michael assists you now with programming each day with your intent your positive intent is all powerful and extremely protective when the intention of expectation is set to welcoming something wonderful you are issuing an invitation to the universe to deliver whatever gifts are for your highest good and that is of course the seven of pentacles you are sowing the seeds with your good intention by programming each day with Archangel Michael you are preparing to accept joy excitement happiness and unexpected blessings for yourself and the people in your life Archangel Michael asks that you connect with him each morning on waking before getting out of bed open your eyes and say to yourself or out loud something wonderful is going to happen today setting this intent is like throwing a blanket of positive energy in front of you the, that assists with manifesting wonderful things on all levels so there you are this card brings the whole reading together by confirming to you the seeds that you have sown will be here that you will receive news and that there will be celebrations with family and friends so open that heart and open that mind of yours and look what is around you don't get stuck in your head if you don't know if you can't see what is in front of you or around you then ask advice from a father figure or a professional I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and I hope to see you very very soon I hope to be up in the air by Monday and I miss you all very very much I really do and I miss the lives as well so please like and share and please support let me know that you're still there waiting for me and the videos to be sent out please like and share my gratitude and my love is great take care God bless and be blessed and stay safe